a pleasant day to you. I bet you're watching this video because of a strong interest or a curiosity on how to be an advanced level engineer. Maaaring isa kang estudyante, professional, or isang individual na nagnanais matugunan ang mga katanungan patungkol sa aplikasyon maging advanced level engineer. A disclaimer, this video only discusses the basics. Thus, you may refer to your respective professional organization and national certifying body for more details. Also, one must attend a qualifying seminar workshop as prerequisite for this application. The aim of this video is to give you a fundamental knowledge of what to expect when applying to become an advanced level engineer. Information that is shared in this is from my experience during the application in line with our engineering organization and certifying bodies application guidelines. First, what is an advanced level engineer? An advanced level engineer is defined as a person who is recognized as a professionally qualified engineer within an ASEAN or APEC economy and who has satisfied an authorized body in that economy operating in accordance with the criteria and procedures approved by the Engineering Coordinating Committee. Being an ASEAN, ACP, or APEC engineer is considered the pinnacle achievement or the culmination of every engineer. Do you agree with this? In my case, it's a big yes. Application Guidelines attended and completed an accredited or recognized engineering program by the appropriate authority in the country and the home institution, accredited professional organization, engineering professional organization, or APO, EPO. These educational institutions or HEIs are listed or licensed by the government body as accredited engineering program providers. An individual has been assessed as eligible for independent practice by the monitoring committee, by a competent professional association, and or by an authority with responsibility for registration or licensing of professional engineers. First, the individual be recognized by the mother organization as an active, legitimate, or full-time member and be endorsed to the authorizing body or umbrella organization in the country in which the engineer practices professionally. All of this before final approval by the AFEO or APEC Governing Board or Coordinating Committee. These are the following basic requirements. Applicant's letter of intent addressed to the country's authorizing agency, President, through the accredited professional organization APO slash EPO. Professional organization's endorsement signed by its national president. Certificate of good standing from the accredited national APO. APO stands for accredited professional organization. Certificate of registration and valid professional identification card issued by APO. Copy of diploma undergraduate and graduate engineering certified through copy as evidence curriculum vitae a short narrative profile slash work summary with half body picture personal details including professional trainings seminars if you have awards citations if you have any affiliations in other business professional or civic organizations at least seven years of professional experience this is optional for associate ASEAN engineers take note these are initial requirements in the application and may subject to change as the governing body suggests work experiences also include narrative summary of at least 2,000 words for each project or engineering works accomplished other basic requirements two years of significant engineering works optional for associate ASEAN engineers and engineering practice slash career 
episode report this is for APEC engineers and development action plan this is for associate ASEAN engineers maintains a satisfactory level in continuing professional development programs or CPD in the last three years having at least 150 weighted hours of CPD activities you must have a duly signed code of ethics applicants declaration that is notarized held individually accountable for your actions as a professional engineer a compilation of supporting documents which includes copy of diploma transcript of records employment certificates seminars trainings professional certificates awards slash citations organizational charts additional supporting documents for academe like key publications thesis research supervised off-campus activities and many others payment of fees and you must attend advanced level engineer workshop seminar prior to submitting these requirements take note that a specified application form is to be accomplished for these basic requirements for work experiences these are signed by the applicant engineer and duly certified and attested by the authorized individuals of the company signature should not be an e-signature or each page of the form must be signed manually also compile and attach photos of work evidences to your supporting documents scan all pertinent documents important thing is to keep all your payment receipts and also scan them to send electronically document format is strict thus you must seek advice from your respective APO or EPO be aware of the deadlines registration is renewable every three years and need to pass some updated requirements for the precise step-by-step -step process you may refer to your mother organization and or with the umbrella organization of engineering organizations in your country countries where an ASEAN ACP APEC engineer can work by the way this photo is taken during our advanced level engineer workshop facilitated by our umbrella organization the Philippine Technological Council the advantages and opportunities as an advanced level engineer bigger market of expertise better employment prospects greater avenue for sharing of knowledge expertise and technology increased related business potential wider networking and strategic alliances more potential for research and development aside from boosting self-confidence and esteem giving a professional engineer more zest or gana which in my own experience is a yes these are the reference sites And by this, thank you very much for listening and hope to see you again in my next video. Again, this is Sir Bren. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and always keep safe and God bless.